How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, arrays. The concept of an array in computer programming in Visual Basic specifically. So let's take a look at some code here. I got some dim statements here and as you can see I have three of them STR College 1, STR College 2, STR College 3. Each of them has a string value assigned to them. So imagine if I had, I don't know, 10 of these. I'd be I'd, I'd have 10 dim statements. Now, uh, in programming, what programmers always like to do is minimize the code that they have to type in there. Uh, minimize having to copy and paste. Um, so we have what's called an array to simplify our lives. Now at first an ar arrays can be difficult to understand but once you understand the concept and when you s once you start using them more often they will um, solve your problems a little bit easier. Um, also you will find that if you continue programming you will find that arrays are used a lot in programming. So how can we replace these three lines with an array? Let me show you the code to do that. And here we have the code for an array. We have uh, it's a dim statement, str colleges, and then we have parentheses as string equals, and then we have the bracket, uh, the open bracket. We have our several um, uh, string. Uh, values here and then we have the closed bracket at the end we have the value separated by commas okay so here we have a string array now how do we access these remember how do we access these uh, values well we use what's called a subscript so in order to access the first value it's kinda weird I know but it's gonna be subscript 0 the next one is 1 and the next one is 2. So let me show you an example of what that is. I'm going to output, let's just say, let's output Fresno State. So we're going to go with, um, this, is, this is 0, this is 1. So we're going to go with, I'm going to display label dot text equals third colleges. And I'm going to put 1. Now let's display the results and let's see what happens. So it should say Fresno State. If not, I have to figure out why it didn't. And yes, it does. It shows Fresno State. Clear it, exit. Now, if I want to display all the results, that's going to be a little different. So let me show you how we will do that. Let me put a comment on here. So here's my other... Um, I want to create this uh, str results, a string... Uh, variable because this is where I'm going to hold the results. Now what I want to do is create what's called a for next loop. Well you guys have seen that, a, a for next loop. And I'm creating, um, um, I have this uh, i as integer and what I'm doing is I'm using, uh, I'm creating a loop and it's going to loop depending on how long the uh, array is. So it's going to start at 0, and it's going to go all the way till the length of um, the array. So I wanted to mention that this um, piece of code here will return the value 3, because that is the length of the array. So we have 1, 2, and 3 we have a total of three values. Three minus one is two because we're going to be going from zero to two. So this, if we're going from zero to two, it's going to loop three times. Now I want to really sp uh, make sure you understand that. Suppose I didn't, ha I wanted to create a, um, I wanted to create a, um, an array with three values in there, I would create it like this. I would create this. Now this uh, this this uh, confuses students all the time, but really this is just basically saying that it goes up to subscript two. 
So zero, one, right? And this is two. That's pretty much what it's saying. So don't be confused when you see the value two there and you think, oh, there's only two values in there. No, there's going to be three values. It's a total, it could be a total of three values in there. Okay. So sorry to digress. Let's go back to our uh, algorithm here. So we have, um, so it's going to be looping three times. And what's going on is this. We're taking Stir College's I, which is going to be zero. Okay. So it's going to be looking at the first value. It's going to be adding some space. And it's also going to be adding stir results string. And we're going to be appending it or sa saving it to the stir results um, variable. So it's going to do this loop three times. So basically what it's doing is accumulating each of these values. Now in the output, In the output, we want to um, output stir results. So let's take a look and see what happens here. So if I click show, yes, it shows me all the values in our uh, array. So let me show you how to solve a problem um, where you need to figure out maybe it's a question or maybe you want to figure out how to do things basically you have to experiment a lot of times with programming you have to experiment so let me show you an example so I have this problem this question it says the int counters array contains five elements which of the following assigns the number one to each element these are my different choices so now I have to figure out will this code um, give assign the numbers one the number one to each of the int counters uh, elements. I don't know. I need you know by looking at this, I, I kind of know what the answer is. But in case you don't, how how can I figure this out? How can I use this code? Well, you would have to you know copy and paste the code and place it into your your code into your Visual Studio program and you're gonna test it out so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how to do this so here we go let me show you the code so this is what I copied from the problem okay this code so this is part of my algorithm section now I created as part of the problem it says it's a it's a it's an array called int counters with five values so that's why I put a four there okay now I have the dim result string this is where I'm gonna hold the results here's the part that I copied and here is where I'm going to what I showed you in the last um, example where I'm going to uh, hold all the values uh, of the array into the str results variable and here I output those results so now I have the code let's uh, find out it what happens to let's see what the values they are let's click show and yes one 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 five ones this um, particular code let me show it to you this particular piece of code will assign the number one to each element so this part will work now what would I do I would with the next part well I do the same thing I copy and paste the code in the proper place and I will check to see if it works and I would keep doing that with all the blocks of code what I want eventually is to be able to print or to be able to display the array. So that's a, a, a good way to solve these type of problems. Now you, you're going to encounter these so it's a good idea to start playing around with um, with the code. 
So I'm hoping that you learned uh, something new about arrays. I'm hoping that you uh, learned how to solve uh, array problems and, lo and loop problems using Visual Studio. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.